Welcome back. Cincinnati police are still looking for the driver who hit and killed a Western Hills high school student last fall. 15 year old Gabriela Rodriguez died after being hit while crossing Harrison Avenue on the way to school. This has become a disturbing trend in Cincinnati. 13 CPS students have been hit by cars while walking to school this year. Now parents and teachers are pushing for change. Joining me are Cincinnati City Council member PG Sittenfeld and Dater High School Principal Steve Sippel. Wanna thank you both for joining us. Sure. And thanks for having us. Uh, we're already seeing some changes, some important changes. Yeah. PG, can you tell me what they are? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Well, first I just wanna say, you know, uh, Gabby Rodriguez's parents, they've been uh, yeah. at City Hall quite a lot lately. I mean, mm -hmm. her family and the families of other students. We heard who, them speak. Yeah, we heard yeah. them speak. It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. tragic and it's unacceptable. And that number you mentioned 13 since mm -hmm. the school year started, the only acceptable number is zero. So I think the sure. message we need to send to parents is that we feel the complete urgency around this situation. So one quick anecdote that Principal Sipple and I were talking about, the de uh, Department of Transportation Engineering was giving us a briefing at City Hall. They said to get brighter lights, the previous lights were very dim, it had poor visibility, take four to six weeks to get it done. We were all like, there is no way that that's an acceptable uh, duration to implement new LED lights. I went and called Amy Spiller, who I wanna give a big shout out to the market president for Duke mm -hmm. Energy. She sent a team the next day to get LED lights in there. Now that's only one thing, but a combination of lighting, of signage, of how we actually design the roads. Three police officers, I believe, were there today, Principal Simple. Um, so making sure that we are taking an all of the above approach mm -hmm. until again, I mean, what I've said, and, and uh, Steve is the educator here, but we want school to be challenging for kids, right? We want to sort not of press walk over. To Walking school. across the street, yeah. getting off the bus, that should not be a challenge. So as principal, you're kind of like a father to all these kids. I like and to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and when you see parents distressed, uh, how does that hit your heart? Well, um, trying to console parents who've lost yeah. their children or parents who are dealing with mm -hmm. serious injuries as I have, is is incredibly difficult obviously we want to encourage kids to do their best in school but they these are parents who are suffering uh mm -hmm. crouching with a student on a wet uh, pavement uh, after they just were hit yeah. crying out for their mother there's nothing worse in my experience as an educator than going through that and i want to save my other 1300 students at dater 1200 students at western hills from going through that ever ever again sure so as we talked about the lights what's the next step after that if you both want to chime in we have about 30 seconds left well one thing that i'm really excited about is that the, the district has hired three crossing guards to help mm -hmm. in the area uh, the cincinnati police have stepped in to assist at least temporarily to make sure that students are are cooperating with the the uh, crossing guards um, we've also got um, the city helping to replace paddle signs that are in the center of the road. And then as uh, Mr. Sidfeld said, the, pa the, uh, the lighting also. Um, and then there's more steps that we're still considering. So enforcement, education, engineering, um, design. Three E's. Design, yeah. well one, on the education side, yeah. people need to know when you get behind a car, it might feel like a routine part of your day. That's a serious responsibility. Don't be you know, checking your right. phone yeah. and distracted by things. Such the enforcement, message. when people yeah. are treating neighborhood roads like super highways we need to crack down on them and then on the engineering side we need to design uh, corridors where people want to live not where they want to speed and again we have to do all of it and we have to do all of it with urgency all right we'll keep covering it thank you gentlemen for thank being you. here really thank appreciate you. it